Here we go. No, no, no. What are you doing, slime? Get out of here. Expert slimes, man. No, 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 no. Expert slimes. Get out of here. Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome to the start of a brand new series. Today, we're starting up a very challenging challenge in Terraria, the Mage Challenge, which is done in expert mode. And now, the reason it's so challenging is because, without a doubt, it has the hardest challenge start in the entirety of the game. Because you start off as a wizard, and I want to talk about our wizard in a little bit, but you start off as this wizard who has to use magic weapons to fight things. You can't use anything else. But the problem is, is that there aren't many magic weapons that you can actually get immediately. For example, let's say you start off as a swordsmith. You can craft a wooden sword, or you can even use this one, this copper short sword, and it will do you just fine. But the problem is, as a wizard, you can't do that. You have to rely on getting a starting magic weapon, and there is only one. Right, and that's the wand of sparking. But the problem with the wand of sparking is that in expert mode, it does one damage to a lot of enemies. So you have to think to yourself, well, if I can't use the wand of sparking, that means I've got to get a staff, right? And you think, well, getting a staff, that's not too bad. But the problem is, is it's actually really hard to get a staff uh, when you don't have a weapon because you need to go underground and you need to be lucky enough to get some amethyst and uh, some tin for example like we've got some tin here which will mean that we can make the topaz staff staff so we need uh, we need to find topaz so we have to be lucky enough to actually get that so i'm going to grab a few starting materials i've got one piece of uh, i've got one piece of gel and i'm going to grab some wood now we're going to grab some starting materials and we're actually just going to go straight into this we're going to go deep down underground live off the torches that we get from um, from other things and really just try and uh, find that first staff. And that's where the challenge is going to come in. And then after that, there are loads of available options to us. Um, and it's going to be brilliant. So anyway, meet my wizard. I have named him Tim. So I wanted to make a wizard um, that was a little bit more dark and foreboding than a uh, than an old grey wizard. I wanted something that was like... I wanted him to look like he'd been around, but he was also kind of... I wanted him to look cool. I wanted him to look badass. I wanted him to to seem powerful and so I gave him this kind of dark look like for example he has a dark beard rather than the you know the pure white that we see in other wizards he also has like a, a long draped dark cloak and red trousers I wanted him to look a little bit more sinister and his name is Tim and that's based off of Monty Python and the Holy Grail and there's also a wizard called Tim in Terraria which is a reference to that film but uh, <laughs> but it's a ref it's a weird reference because Tim the Wizard drops Tim's hat, but Tim's hat isn't in Monty Python, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's a cool little thing. But yeah, this is Tim, and now I've been dying to start up this challenge for such a long time. I love magic weapons in Terraria. I find them so fun to play with, and uh, I spent well, it was two days ago. I spent the day reading the new Harry Potter book, and uh, I was just completely sucked in, and I was like, yes need to play a wizard right now so here we are at the start of a brand new series i'm so excited so i'm gonna grab as much tin as i can i should probably grab uh, some more stone i'm gonna hope that i get a few more pots because if not oh actually do you know what 13 torches not bad at all i mean we can make that last so i'm gonna grab some stone so we can do some uh crafting and such like that so we can um we can make a furnace because obviously we're going to need to melt our ores. We're going to need to make the bars uh, to make our staff and such. And we're going to need to craft the staff. And if we can get all that while we go underground, it'd be really good. But the problem is, is like right now we're fine because there's nobody around. There's no enemies. Nobody's going to pop out and kill us. But that won't be that won't be the case for long. There are going to be enemies that are going to come and grab us. And uh, just like at the start of the Yo-Yo series, I'm going to have to do some long tunneling and some long like avoiding enemies it's actually kind of mad i did a trial run for this series yesterday i spent the whole day doing trial runs for this series and uh, i kept dying every time um and not being able to do what i wanted so i've changed my strategy and uh, i've decided i'm going straight for the staffs i was originally going to go for a water bolt first and i think that's what a lot of people do go straight for the water bolt but um it's really really not worth it okay so we got the silver ore and uh, that means if we carry on getting silver ore, we can make ourselves a sapphire staff. Because there are only four staffs that you can make out of seven um, when you're a character, when you're, well, like when you're in a world. Because, um, for example, you can get gold or platinum 
in your world. So if you have platinum, you can't make a, uh, I think it's a diamond. And if you have gold, you can make a ruby one. So you can only make four. So we can make, from my understanding, we can make a topaz instead of an amethyst. And we can make a sapphire instead of an emerald. So not too bad. Not too bad. They're actually not bad at all. I'm going to grab this blink root here. Because we can use this blink root later on to make some spelunker potions. Now I did want to change my strategy so that we'd start off with some spelunker potions. Like we'd go to the jungle, hopefully grab some moon glow. But the problem is, is if we went to the jungle we'd be murdered pretty fast. So that was something I didn't want to do. I didn't want to start my uh, my challenge series to be frustrating. I wanted it to be, I wanted a sense of like overwhelming like satisfaction when we finally did what we wanted to do. And that is uh, get our first staff. So if this episode involves some speed ups, uh, that's okay because it's going to take a little while. But trust me, once we get into this, this is going to be one of the funnest challenge series I've ever done. It's nothing like the yo-yo series where I spend hours collecting things. It's all about killing and all the, like, it's all about learning new, like, ways to play. Like, learning how to do different prefixes with some of our accessories and learning to kind of adapt that combat. Combat that I've not done in a long time. So, I'm, I'm really excited to play Terraria in this new way. Um, and that makes me, that makes me kind of happy. Oh, okay, so we got our first shot at some gems. These are topaz, which are the ones we needed, to my understanding. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. All right, I have a little guide of staffs next to me because I didn't want to forget the crafting recipes and uh, and do that on the first episode. So I made a little guide of all the little things I want to get because <laughs> that does help. I used to do this with old series. I used to always make little guides and uh, I stopped doing it for a long while and then I'm kind of back into it now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. We lost our chance at that pot. Actually, no. To be honest, we could probably dig down and go get it. I think every pot's going to matter at the minute. Do you know what's going to be a killer, though? And we're all going we're all gonna to have to, you know, have fingers crossed for this one. If we get a worm, we are we are kind of screwed because we can't kill a worm. Maybe we should break the rules if we get a worm. I don't know. <laughs> He's got, like, the littlest bit of strength left. He can use a sword for, like, two minutes. No. Um, okay. No topaz down there. This is very much going to be about mining at the start. And uh, it's nice to get into Terraria again. It's been a little while since I've played. I actually had a little break so I could do some Starbound and uh, finish up the Yo-Yo series. And when I finished the Yo-Yo series, I definitely knew I needed a break because we'd spent so long um, in the game grinding away at stuff. You know, you need a little break after that. Because when you come back to the game after like little breaks like that, after, after doing something, you know... You know, fin finishing a challenge that you started a, like a long time ago and feeling really satisfied. You know, you start to really appreciate the game again. Um, so it was nice to have a break, but I'm, I'm so happy to be back. Back playing Terraria. I love it. It's my favorite game. Okay. Let's grab all of this topaz. So how many pieces? That was three pieces before. This is four pieces now. That is one shy of what we need. We need eight pieces Oh no. Yeah, look, seven pieces. We just needed the one. Let's uh, fall down here. I'm gonna, hmm, okay. I'm just gonna place that there, grab this, and I'm gonna take these, because although, because this is the thing, once we have our staff, we're probably not gonna come back to this area. So let's dig down here. Okay. I see a trap at the bottom. Okay, there we go. All right, let's grab that trap. Okay. We've got to be super careful. We're just looking for gems at the minute. Tim, make sure you are cautious. Doing a cautious series has been awesome. I did a cautious series with the yo-yo playthrough, and you guys seem to really like that, like that playstyle. You know, taking my time and um, really thinking about everything instead of rushing in. It's why I wanted to play a character at the start that would, you know, have these limitations... You know, one that had to kind of slow things down. So I thought that'd be cool. Right, now I want to tell you my uh, my broad sense of strategy that I want to do in this series. I want to, one, get the Topaz Staff. Okay, so that's a given. And then going to try and get Water Bolt from the dungeon. And then I'm going to go and destroy a Demon Altar and wait for a Meteorite. Because a Meteorite drops a Meteorite. And that means that you can get the... The mana set, because it's kind of, it is a mana set, isn't it? The uh, the space set, or the meteorite set. I believe so. And then you can use the space gun. And you can use the space gun as much as you want. 
And it is a magic weapon, although it is a gun, it is a magic weapon. It uses mana. Um, and then other than that, there are there are different routes. For example, we could always get the jungle armor. That is about mana. Um, and the thing is with the with a mage, you start off very, very weak. Um, and it's like now, like we're so vulnerable to anything. But once you've broken that limitation, you know, you've got your first magic weapon. You know, you can start, you know, branching out into all these different paths. And it's a lot more rewarding um, than some little challenges I've done. Okay, no gems here. Do you know what would be amazing right now? A gem cave. Could you imagine? I'd be so lucky, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're lucky so far that we've not even been killed yet. That's that's the lucky bit. Is that a worm? No, okay. I thought it was... Uh, I, I heard the sound of his building and I was like, that sounds a little bit like a worm. Oh, I hope it's not. It got me very paranoid then. Can't be dealing with a worm. Alright, is this area... This is the area where we originally came from, right? So let's see. Yeah, okay, there is an area down. Okay, let's jump. I'm surprised we haven't found any kind of, you know, golden chest yet or anything like that. Hmm. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. See, I wanna I wanna go back down again, but I wanna build up because I just you know, gems could be anywhere. We could get that last topaz anywhere, so I wanna I wanna grab that. Man, my jumping skills are a little bit weak today. Whoop. Nope. Okay. Run. There you go. That's from playing too much Starbound. It's my fault, really. Which is funny because when I started playing Starbound, I um because I play so much Terraria, I uh, I was I was rubbish at Starbound because I was like used to Terraria and then I take a week break playing only Starbound, and then now I'm onto this and I kind of suck at this. Okay. Where is? Ooh, some gems down there. That is Sapphire. So Sapphire is good. Do we have any? Glow sticks. No. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna do this for now. And I'll put a torch up there. Okay, so if anything goes wrong, we can just kind of quickly come back up. Now, how many sapphire is this? Is this seven pieces? Six, seven. Ah, another lot of seven. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Because that would have been nice, because uh, we could have uh, focused on silver after that. I just want to quickly check that there isn't anything over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up like this. I'm going to quickly destroy this block here. I'm going to build up, and I'm just going to place a torch right there. Um, no, just a little bit of ore. Actually, more silver. Um, and I did say that I'd like to focus on silver, so I'm going to go grab that silver. And uh, we can hopefully use that, like I say, we can, we're kind of at even footings right now. We could get a topaz now, or we could get a sapphire now. So that's even footings. And the thing is, the sapphire one is a lot better than the topaz. Well, it's only a little bit better. It's got two extra damage and a velocity of 7.5 and a little bit better of a, uh, you know, a, a summoning speed. So that's kind of nice. All right, our first enemy encounter um, that's down here. Oh, no. All right. Don't want to break the challenge already. I hope you guys don't count that. That'd be kind of weird to count. Okay. Here we go. No, no. Oh, what are you doing? Slime. Get out of here. Expert slimes, man. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Expert slimes. Get out of here. Hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do for now is because that slime's trapped, I'm going to quickly start smelting some bars and getting some stuff crafted. And I'm just going to see what I can actually make uh, with what we've got. So I'm going to put down a crafting bench, a workbench, and I'm going to put down a furnace. Oh, the wooden yo-yo. I want to craft it so bad. I love it. Okay, silver. How many silver can we make? We can make eight silver. We'd need ten for a staff. I can make two iron. And how much tin can I make? I can make 14 tin. So I can probably make myself an anvil now, can't I? Can I make an anvil? Can you make an anvil out of tin? You probably can. I'm just being uh, blind. Is it? No, it's lead. Sorry, it is lead. Okay, let's move on. Little mistakes, only rookie mistakes. That's okay. It's okay to make rookie mistakes in Terraria. That's all right. Now, we don't have any kind of healing done, so I'm going to take a potion because we don't have natural healing in expert mode. So we're not going to like naturally regenerate that health because we've not got the well-fed buff. Now, well, let's come out of here a little bit. We're just going to dilute this water a little bit so it kind of bleeds out. Alright, is that going to affect our red friend over there? Nope, thankfully not. 
Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and block this guy in here. Hmm, okay. Oh, he's jumped over. That's not good. Hmm, right. I can probably, if he comes back in again, I can build over him. Oh, no. All right, he's decided to leave. Oh, he's coming back, though. Hmm, what do we do about you? There you go. Come back in here. Yep, there we go. Awesome. All right, okay, the yellow slime is done. That is brilliant news. We can progress onwards with one torch. All right, let's place this down. Hopefully, we get some torches in this. Come on. All right, rope, not good. Right, we're going to have to go back and uh, actually take some torches with us. So I'll take this one and I'll also remove this one since this one is kind of uh, useless to us now. Okay. Mm, no forms of... There is some tin up there. But to be honest, we have all the tin we need at this point. Oh, there's so much tin there though. Hmm, okay. Well, let's destroy this. Hopefully, we'll get an accessory that might be able to help us out. Maybe something with a little bit of defense. Something like that. Oh, an anvil. Awesome. You know what? I'll take all of that. Not bad at all. What were them bars that we actually got as well? We got some uh, We got some iron bars as well. And we got that anvil. You know what? I'll take the bookcase as well. Why not? We can use that later on to actually make spells. Yeah, this is, this is nice. I'm liking this. Now, to my understanding, there'll probably be a trap near here. This is the kind of area where you'd get a trap. Hmm, okay. I don't... Right, eight torches. I was just about to say, I don't like not being able to see. Oh, there's some more silver up there as well. Okay. Ooh, not so good. Not as good as that could have been. Let's place a block. Right, we're going to go grab that silver. And I like that we're at even footings. Like, I like that it's... Could we get sapphire? Could we get topaz? I like that. That's a nice little um, that's a nice little dynamic. Kind of lucky, really. But it's kind of also oh no 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 no. Okay, it's it's lucky, but it's also kind of unlucky. Okay, let's build up to here. We just don't want that bat to come and get us. That a bat could a bat at this point could take us out because we can't uh, actually hit anything. Oh, this is platinum. Oh right, okay. Looks a little bit different from afar, to be honest. What can a platinum make? A platinum can make a diamond staff. Nice. Well, I don't think we've got chances of that for a little while. Alright. I don't think it's going to be long before we find our next gem. Gems are pretty frequent, although there are six or seven types of gems. I think seven with, with amber, I believe. Hmm. Okay, nothing that way. I'm going to have to keep digging, though. And this is a point where you take a mining potion. Oh, that's so satisfying after so long of having a slow mining ability, isn't it? Just a little bit of extra speed moving our character along. Tim the Wizard. Yeah, I can't wait till Tim the Wizard is a little bit more powerful when he can actually kill things. Hmm. All right, no signs of gems. Oh, a topaz! A topaz! Awesome! All right, that's our first weapon then. Yes, okay. All right, so let's place this down. And... Let's see. Bam! An adept topaz staff. We have done it. We have uh, we have crafted our first wizard weapon, and it's slow. I bet. Yeah, it's super slow. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Awesome. Well, I think it's time now to actually loot a few chests and see how uh, how we can fear up against some people. Man, that is so good. Now, I want to let you guys know because this is the first episode. And this may be your first time viewing. So if you like what you've seen today, make sure you click that subscribe button. That's how you'll stay up to date with everything. Um, and if you want to know what this series has in hold, well, uh, I have had other series in the past. So I'll explain to you how it kind of worked in them. Um, I like to build like kind of nice houses for my series now. I like to build like special houses. So I imagine we'll get like a big wizard's uh, tower or something like that to kind of hold everybody in. Um, but I also like to take suggestions from you guys. So if this is your first series, hello, nice to meet you. My name is James, or you can call me Chippy, whatever you want to call me. And uh, feel free to uh, leave that discussion in the comment section down below. And uh, I use the comment section not as a, uh, as a uh, like some YouTubers want to use it. Well, I say that. Nobody actually wants that. But a lot of people think that YouTubers only want comments because it makes them more popular. It doesn't. Um, but I like to use it to actually talk to you guys and get tips and such because... 
I know a lot of you play a lot of Terraria, and a lot of you, weirdly enough, get to play it a lot more than me, because I only get to play it for a certain amount of time in the day. Um, but yeah, so I like to take all these tips off of you guys, so feel free, if you ever want to leave a comment, feel free to. Um, it's more than welcome, and uh, you'll always see me in there anyway. Okay, I like our first wizard's weapon, it's nice. Oh, we got our first mana star as well. Man, we can stop being a little bit, we can stop being so cautious in a few minutes, but for now... I just want to be a little bit more cautious, just to keep it up. Alright. Okay. I've got to be careful. Middle mouse button. My god, I changed heal on my character, so... No, no. Ooh, first death of the day. Nice. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more like this, make sure to click that subscribe button. I can't wait to see what Tim the Wizard has in store for us. It's going to be really great. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. Have an awesome day, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.